Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has served in even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, help of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us give glory to our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God, three persons, from whom everything in the world comes, and everything in the world comes to whom everything returns. We adore and thank the three divine persons for the mystery of the incarnation and redemption. Because of his love for us, the Father created us and sent us his Son to be our Savior. The Holy Spirit comes to us to make present in the church of every time and place the redemption 
brought by Christ to humanity. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you'd say, Away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand. The right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth, 
and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, As now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created men upon the earth, as from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did the people ever hear the voice of God? Speaking from the midst of fire, as you did and live? Or did any god venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation? By testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before you very eyes? This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving, your, giving you forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Upright is the Word of the Lord, and all His words are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth all their hosts. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for His kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in You. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are led by the Spirit of God are son of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you receive a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and join heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kami ay gawit ng daan ng iyong pagibig kapayapaan at katarungan, Hallelujah. The Lord 
be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Napapansin po ba natin na sa kalendaryo ng simbahan, meron tayong mga kapistahan dedicated to God the Son. For example, Christmas, that is the birthday of Jesus, pinanganak si Jesus, pinagdiriwang natin. Then, Easter, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, we celebrate the ascension of Jesus. Last Sunday, we just celebrated the solemnity of Pentecost. We celebrated God, the Holy Spirit, coming down upon us, upon the church. Pero, wala tayong nakatatag na kapistahan ng Diyos Ama. Bakit kaya? Why is there no feast dedicated to God the Father? Ang kasagutan po niyan ay simple lamang po. Lahat po kasi ng ating pagdiriwang, lahat ng ating mga dasal ay patungo lahat sa Ama. Kaya nga po doon sa doxology o tinatawag natin na through Him, in Him, with Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory are yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. So, yan po ang dahilan. Everything is directed to the Father because from the Father we have received everything and to the Father we receive every blessing and we return our praises, adoration, glory to the Father. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, is what we celebrate today. So, in the loose sense of the word, we celebrate Trinity Sunday as the Feast of God the Father. But every time that we pray, every time that we celebrate Mass, every time that we gather together in prayer, we are celebrating the Father because the Father receives our prayer through Jesus Christ and it is the Holy Spirit that impels us to pray to God and call Him our Father. So today, we give glory and honor and praise to the one God who created us, who saved us, and continues to sanctify us through the different three persons that we invoke. That one God revealed Himself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. From our basic catechism, we have learned that the Father created us out of love and He sent us the Son to save us and the Son and the Father sent the Holy Spirit to be with us as the Church continues her mission in the world. In the Gospel today, Jesus commanded His disciples saying, 
Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is also our mandate. All disciples of Jesus, all who are baptized, are missionaries. And this year, the church in the Philippines, as we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity, we celebrate the year of Misho Agentes. And when we do mission, what do we share? When we do mission, what do we proclaim? What do we preach? We preach the one true God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That one true God who has gifted us the gift of faith. And thus we acknowledge that we are gifted to give. And the greatest gift that we can share to the entire world, to our brothers and sisters, especially here in Asia, is the gift of God Himself, whom we proclaim not only by our mouth, but by our witness. Today, the church in the Philippines, in solidarity with the people of Myanmar, we pray for peaceful resolution to the problem of the people, especially those who are persecuted because of their faith. We pray for the people of Myanmar that they may always be protected and they will always persevere in the gift of faith that they have received, that there will always be a peaceful resolution to the national problem their country faces. And so today, as we celebrate BEC Sunday, we also celebrate the Trinity. BEC is a reflection of the mystery of the Church, and the Church is a reflection of the mystery of God Himself. Because God is a communion of three divine persons. He is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And these three divine persons are distinct from each other, but they have one common mission, but that mission is diverse in the sense that as we have said earlier, we attribute creation to God the Father. We attribute redemption to God the Son. We attribute the sanctification of the church and of the world to the Holy Spirit. But these three divine persons, they are so intimately united that they are a communion of three divine persons. And so today, the church in the Philippines celebrates basic ecclesial community sunday because our parish is a reflection of the mystery of god our parish is a communion of communities god is a community of persons and therefore we who are who were baptized in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit are also a communion of communities. And so today, we pray for our small Christian communities so that we may always be fruitful, always fulfilling the mission God has entrusted to us. May our church mirror that mystery of the Holy Trinity, a mystery of love, a mystery of unity and a mystery of sharing one common mission that is to glorify God through the redemption given us through the Son and everything that we do today in the church is possible 
because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us give always glory and praise to the one God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God is our Creator and Father. He has given us His Son to be our life. Through His Holy Spirit, let us raise our voices as we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our church leaders be docile to the voice of the Holy Spirit, faithful to the way of Christ, and diligent in listening to the divine word, and in approaching the wellspring of grace, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your people. May the Holy Spirit strengthen the leaders of our country in their commitment to promote justice, peace, and truth. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May consecrated men and women show forth their love for the poor and oppressed. May they be one with those in need and abound in works of mercy. May they be compassionate toward all. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who are suffering because of sickness, poverty, and difficulty in their relationships be sustained by the love of God and through the care of their families and friends. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May the Lord bless the efforts and initiatives of all the parishioners who compose the parish and the BECs. May the spirit of collaboration bring us into a fruitful communion with the Father. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. May our departed brothers and sisters be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal life. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Almighty Father, you have revealed your love to us through your Son and sent the Holy Spirit among us. Receive our prayers and grant that we may come to the inheritance held out to us in Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Oh, 
sa'yo'y nagpukay. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe it equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper in each person, their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos, Napupuno ang langit at lupa ng padakinaan mo. O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan, O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan, Pinagpalang na paririto sa ngalan ng Panginoon. O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitasan. O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the Word, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all. To sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the sick, the abandoned, and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light through your loving plan, 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, 
injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus, to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our Mahal na Ina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Brothers and sisters, tomorrow is May 31 the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is also the titular feast of Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat. We invite you for the celebration of the Masses tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the morning via Facebook live streaming and 10 o'clock in the morning. The Mass at 10 o'clock is open for all residents of Piat and it will be presided by Archbishop Emeritus Sergio Lasam Utleg. Join us in thanking the Lord for giving us our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat. We also invite you to join us via Facebook live streaming for the floral offering and recitation of the Holy Rosary at 9 o'clock. In the morning, let us all celebrate as one family the feast of our Blessed Mother. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May he turn your steps toward himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Let us go and be missionaries of the good news. Thanks be to God. Maraya Virgen de Piat, asinabe kalulugo. Let us pray the prayer before we close the Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, 
and calling to mind the words of David, Your prophet said of you, my Jesus, They have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Then, O oh dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.